What is it with me and crossing the border into Mexico? Last year was my paint job and my register or my title registration that uh, the vehicle was registered as a commercial vehicle and not as an RV. I took care of that, painted the vehicle. Wouldn't you know it? I thought of the group that was going down, I would be the least uh, probable to have a problem crossing the border. I took all of my registration and papers and paper clipped them in order, put them in a special envelope, made sure I had my passport uh, card handy. Jessica had her passport card handy, all ready to make this a streamlined process. And lo and behold, wouldn't you have it? They think that the Battleborn batteries that I have on board are gonna be sold and we're looking, they wanted to tax me at 16%, which would be about, uh, We'll just say roughly $1,120 to be able to cross the border with those batteries uninstalled. So here I am out in the desert with Jessica installing the Battleborn batteries. All of the wiring is basically in place. So if I just label my wiring properly as I take the old system off, I should be able to bust this out reasonably quickly come back i want to change the the solar controller anyway i'm not going to put the shunt on i'm not going to put the put the razzle dazzle and the eddie bauer package on the install that i would normally if we were down in uh, mexico but i will get this installed get it running i'm not 100 percent certain how my solenoid isolator is going to react to the battleborn batteries so i think i'm just going to leave that wire off until i can research it further or pick one up that's a proprietary or signed off product by battleborn so i know i'm on the right track with that it, any way you slice it, I got the solar panels up and I got some batteries to swap out. I've already put the word out uh, for some folks if they can get out here. I've got four batteries. I've got a total of five, six, seven lead acid batteries that are coming out. But four of them are in still decent shape and I really don't want to turn them into an auto shop to get a uh, recycle fee for them. I would much rather them go to a home where somebody's getting out into the solar uh, getting solar on their vehicle and could really use them as coach batteries so we'll see if anybody's willing to come out and meet me to get those off my hands in the meantime i gotta get the motorcycle out of the inside of the bus and i got a lot of work to do so i'm gonna get going Well, it's the next morning, I worked into the night, and so because it was dark when I got finished, I wasn't able to test everything. I needed sun on the panels. This morning I woke up and everything was working like a champ. So I buttoned a few things up and it's time to head back to the border and give it another shot. I'll give you a quick look. This isn't how it's gonna come out. I'm gonna make some improvements when I'm not under the gun time-wise. But there we go, I've got three Battleborn batteries in this bank being fed with roughly 600 watts, 30 amps. This solar controller is probably not gonna be the final one. I set the solar controller to 14.4 on the absorption. I have not checked the, uh, the data sheet on it. So I'm thinking it's 14.4, but as soon as I get a chance to check the data sheet on it, I'll make sure I calibrate everything perfectly. The idea is to get us up and running and we are definitely up and running, so let's get going. We made it into Mexico. 
We are now in Mexicali, so we just crossed over the border and things could have, uh, you know, they were cool about the batteries. I showed them my receipt that I uh, recycled three of my batteries, four of them I gave to Harley Love on uh, Facebook. So I'm glad that they went to a good home, they were in decent condition, the other three were sh completely shot. But being able to show that receipt really helped me out. And he told me I can't bring gas cans full of gas across and that I can't bring firewood across and that I can't bring any auto parts across because I have like some uh, tail lights I'm going to replace on my bus. So the idea is I thought I was going to come down to Mexico and do a bunch of uh, do a bunch of projects and relax and do it down there. And it's not a good idea to look like you have a lot of raw materials crossing the border. It's because they think you're going to sell them and they want to charge you tax. So that's one of the lessons I learned. But they didn't they didn't really seek to give me too hard of a time. They were cool with uh, motorcycles, me having two motorcycles. At one point I was told you had to have as many people in the vehicle as you had VIN numbers and we have three VIN numbers and two people but they didn't care. Meters, right the Boulevard, so I'm pretty pumped. We're heading in. Next, uh, stop next stop San Felipe. We'll meet up with the, with the gals. San Felipe, we're going to grab some fish tacos and see if we can meet up with everyone that uh, we got separated with uh, or from yesterday. So see how it checks out. It's a little more proper. Turn the fan off. San Felipe, go ahead. I mean, this was awesome.